Hey guys, so I am going grocery shopping at Trader Joe's today and thought that I would just take you along with me. Um, I have a process, kind of, while I grocery shop. Um, basically, I look at everything and I look at all of the nutrition information. I'm someone who enjoys grocery shopping, um, but I know that some people feel kind of lost when they go grocery shopping, don't know what they should choose. Um, so I thought I would just take you along with me. I actually am not planning on buying that much, but I will show you um, my process and I'll show you some of my go-tos. At Trader Joe's even if I am not buying them today this video is going to be a voiceover for the majority of it because I feel more comfortable just doing the video while I'm in there as opposed to talking to myself um, it is pretty busy today for one reason or another I have no idea why it's a Monday um, I feel like most people should be at work but you know moms retired people um, not at work right now. Nurses. Um, so yeah, I will just bring you guys along with me and I hope you enjoy it. Also, random fun fact, my Trader Joe's that I go to is located at Gillette Stadium, which is where the Patriots play. Who'd have thunk it? This was a new find for me, the Cruciferous Crunch Collection. It was with the other pre-bagged lettuce and salad mixes. I thought it had good stats and I'm always trying to get more vegetables in because I'm not great at that. Riced cauliflower is definitely a go-to for me and is much less expensive at Trader Joe's than anywhere else I can find it. I usually just prepare it in a frying pan with some butter and garlic. I did not get this today, but the Trader Joe's Chunky Spicy Guacamole is my absolute favorite. And when you compare it to stats of other guacs, this is actually better for you. Artichoke and Jalapeno Dip, another one of my favorites. I use this mixed with chicken a lot of the time. I'm pretty much always trying to find something to mix with chicken to make it a little more interesting. Another favorite is the reduced gilt spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. Great stats. They do have a non-reduced gilt version, but um, like I said, another thing to mix with chicken to make it more interesting. And yet another, the tzatziki creamy garlic cucumber dip. Um, it's basically like any other tzatziki sauce. I just love the flavor of it. Um, it's creamy. It has a little bit of garlic in it. There is some pieces of cucumber in it to add the crunch. So good. And then this is just in their produce section. It's their already prepared meats. Um, really nothing added to it. So it's a great grab and go selection. Their beef sirloin roast right, right here is also pretty good and has great stats. This is their frozen section. Um, I just like the frozen artichoke hearts because there's really no added sodium in it. The brine um, adds a little bit of a weird flavor to me. So I use this in casseroles. And then this is just kind of an overview of their frozen vegetable section. I think that Trader Joe's frozen section is one of my favorites. Um, because they have so many different things that you don't find in regular grocery stores and being a VSG patient I can't always use fresh stuff in time. This is the specific reason that I was going to Trader Joe's to begin with. This shiitake mushroom chicken tastes like takeout uh, Chinese food and as you can see with the stats there's only three grams of sugar per serving. The serving size is a cup which is perfect for us and I think it says 20 grams of protein there. This is such a great option. And then this actually doesn't really fit my lifestyle, um, too high of carbs for me, but these are two great options for someone who is doing vegan after VSG, still very um, healthy, um, but no meat products. And then their tuna burgers, their mahi-mahi burgers, their salmon burgers, very good, great stats, tasty, delicious. This was a new find for me, the wild-caught crab meat with nothing added, so it's literally just frozen crab meat, 
and the stats are really good. So for two ounces, 45 uh, calories, no carbs. I think I can't read the protein right there, but uh, and then this is just an overview of their frozen seafood section. They have a great frozen seafood section, lots of variety, lots of stuff uh, with no added sugars or no added, you know, unnecessary stuff. Their turkey meatballs have great stats to them. I did not buy them today, but just showing you that um, it is a healthy option with a greater than 10 to 1 protein to calorie ratio, or excuse me, calorie to protein ratio. And then these are my favorite um, chicken. This is my favorite chicken to buy because it's individually frozen chicken tenderloins. Um, so very easy to take out one serving at a time as opposed to preparing a huge amount of chicken. And this is just an overview of their nut section. They have so many different kinds, different flavors, raw, roasted, dry roasted, salted, unsalted. It's just like a smorgasbord here. And then here are some other healthy options. Um, there's some raw shelled hemp seed, some flaxseed meal, um, just some other ways of adding protein. As you know, I love my coffee. I usually make my own or I buy the Stoke already pre-made, but they do have um, some cold brew coffees at Trader Joe's. This is another one of my go-tos. They're light shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, Anytime I want to use shredded cheese, this is the one that I always use. 45 calories, 8 grams, no, 45 calories, 5 grams of protein per serving. I believe this is probably just found in New England area Trader Joe's because um, it's a Vermont brand. But these are just cheddar bites. I did not buy them today, but they're super good. It's like a cheese curd, so you can find them other places. And this is another one of my go-tos, the light, sharp Celtic cheddar. So for one serving, it's 70 calories, and I believe it is 8 grams of protein, no carbs. Um, just for reference, I do weigh out everything. So this is just their cheese selection. They have great um, a great selection of cheese in both full fat and light versions, and at a lot of grocery stores, you just can't find as many um, low-fat cheese versions. I know some people, that's not their thing. If you want to spend a little bit more money, this filet mignon roast is so bomb. It is $17.99 per pound, but it is so tasty, so tender, and great stats. And then just the Trader Joe's meat selection in general. They have so much to choose from, um, different varieties of different kinds of meat pre-seasoned, pre-marinated. Just look at the stats, make sure that it fits within your lifestyle, but so much selection. This is my cheat. I did not buy it today, but I do this about once a month, the Sweet Sriracha Uncured Bacon Jerky. Um, they're for, I always eat the whole container, which means it's 12 grams of sugar and 1,200 milligrams of sodium, but and then the wine selection. Not today, Satan. Not today. This is their sugar-free um, chocolate selection. So if I ever have a little bit of sweet tooth, with it, which I do every now and then, I will get either one of those chocolate bars or um, these milk and dark chocolate covered almonds. They have a great salsa selection. Anyone who likes spicy, which I do, um, their just regular salsa, their salsa verde, their Hatch Valley, um, some of my favorite salsas. And then if I ever want a chip to dip in, this is always the kind that I go for because it has protein in it, it has fiber in it. Um, I do one serving. I make sure that I measure it and I measure it in grams to make sure that I'm being accurate and this is just a great chip option. All right guys, so I hope that was helpful for you um, to show you my process with grocery shopping. So many healthy options out there. I didn't even show you all of them. Um, I feel like starting at a grocery store like Trader Joe's is almost easier even though the majority of things that you find at Tr Trader Joe's are not 
found anywhere else. They're specifically made by the Trader Joe's brand. Because it's a smaller grocery store, I feel like um, if you are not the best grocery shopper, if you're not the best at finding healthy options, starting at somewhere smaller um, will be easier once you get down kind of your process and finding healthy options and it just it becomes easier the more you do it so starting somewhere small might be easier than jumping into like a huge Whole Foods or something like that so I hope this was helpful um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment below tell me what your favorite thing at Trader Joe's is or just your favorite go-to groceries in general, and I will see you next time.